and we're back with Crikey Nutcrackers! <laughs> oh, what? You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down, it's not like you'd be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a friggin' skydive! You can't stay on here, you can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place. Eva, what the fuck? Was. Even if it is just simulation, that's kind of terrifying. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everyone has GPS and everything like that. No! Those are still useful. Lighthouses? Look, river. This place means a lot to me too. I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we can afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... I would be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. We'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. In reverse. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but I can't rack my head around it. It's none of your business anyway. She's not our client. Received note, Anya. So the lighthouse itself is Anya. Has she personified it somehow? Why, hello there! Floating memories. Hmm. An attachment to a place is not all that uncommon. Oh, well, there's all that. Now we just need to find whatever the... We need to find the remnant that we need to go to. Which is probably them hugging, now that I think about it. This is what this place looked like before they built the house on it, though, huh? Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Need to find that memory fragment. Guess it's probably down here. You have a tendency to put it in an obvious place. Maybe it's their car. Where's their car? Where'd you guys park? Nope. And the memory ends up here, so we can't continue on to where the house ends up being. Hmm. Yeah, I, I meant the the uh, the thing that lets me move on to the next time. I, I, I've already forgot all the terminology. I haven't found anything that I have to do the puzzle for. Where are you? Hello? Yeah, they're not they're not letting me do anything. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside is Anya.
All right, let's go ahead and save. So I haven't saved for a very long time. Auto save, of course, is a nice feature, which is doing stuff. But uh, yeah, where's the thing? Well, I just need to know where the next memory thing is, so I'm I'm okay with that being told to me for now, because I'm having a hard time finding it. It's like, it's not random trees, it's not random flowers. Usually it's something that's fairly obvious, and I got nothing. It's down on the street? I did look on the street, though. I didn't find anything. Oh, there's a rabbit. Ha! There it is. There you are, Memento. That thing was super small. I never saw it. Alright, let's prepare the Memento. I can do it in five. Well, in theory, I can do it in five. I guess I can do it in five. River? More middle adulthood. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear lord, not again. You know, for somebody who's supposed to be trusted to go into people's memories, Dr. Watts is awfully judgmental. Gets away with it because of the fact that he that obviously the person can't hear anything he says, but still. Uh oh. I don't I think I know where this is going. Old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this? How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get this through the store. Hmm. True. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everyone. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. Seriously, you guys are gonna go rattle off on Doctor Who? Nerds! I'm kidding, I love Doctor Who. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is, this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... to you? Perhaps. Who knows? Well, like you said, she's not our client. 
Let's just get what we pay we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. So she didn't go out for a haircut. She cut her own hair. Or had the stylist come here. Which I'm pretty sure they don't do. This is the day she started it, huh? A platypus? Yo, platypus. Are you what I'm looking for? Yep. Prepares a momento. Alright, I can do it in three. Platypus is inside the car, I'm assuming. Memories are weird. Ah, oh, so this is the way up to where their house is going to eventually be built. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? A house that never should have been. I mean, really. What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Nope, acrophobia. He, he kind of strikes me as cynical. More so. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Interesting note. Also, I can see that the, the care and dedication that the creator of this game put to actually using psychological terms in a lot of senses. It, it, it's noticed and appreciated. Hey, there's the backpack on the ground. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look. It was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now. What is he said I should tell you the truth? I shouldn't have tainted our. F I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like this. Hmm. Huh. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Onion's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Here's a memento. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. I do too, but it's not about what you want, it's about what she wants. I'd wager their first meeting had something to do with her hair as well. And that's why she ended up cutting it once it was revealed their first meeting wasn't exactly what she thought. That's just an assumption. I guess we'll find out eventually. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because
because she and I shared the syndrome doesn't mean we shared the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even more in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her. But any, many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to faith that you have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I'm both envy and pity, River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing this my whole life. Not only on stage, but off stage. And at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardness. There are days when you just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know is all... Uh, is... All an act, and the real me just long has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. Never met a woman with it before. And technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. If we, well, in the eyes, if people just remembered faces more. Faces are hard to remember. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. Ha! There's a callback! Wow! Oh shit! Does that mean he's supposed to be as old as- Does that mean we were supposed to be born around the same time? Me and John? Oh shit! <laughs> now I feel old. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding, wedding present. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Mm hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. Man, I don't know if I still have my Animorph series. I probably gave them away a long time ago. Sounds like the type of thing I would do. Give them away to my uh, school library or something. Phone, why are you talking to me? Apparently my phone has something to tell me. Oh, uh, I have to check my emails in a bit. No? Not let me talk to you, huh? There we go. Whoa! A little bit of everything, huh? I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-valentine. Hey, River. This one's not that corny. River? 
when you're having trouble expressing your feelings, maybe giving somebody an anti-Valentine isn't where you want to go. What about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh. Do you know what animal Dave is David's main morph? Um. Um. I don't remember. Let's go with dog. That doesn't sound right. And apparently he makes for excellent Splatoon jokes. Uh, I guess so, yeah, I can see that. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. <sighs> Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? David Cobra. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. It was uh, it was just popular in the US. Yeah, there was even a TV show about it. Um, it was pretty cool. The the TV show was awful, by the way. <laughs> it was a pretty interesting TV uh interesting book series. Oh yeah, a cobra! Really wish they kept the old covers instead of the plain sheets. Those were cool. The old covers were pretty cool. Every single cover was about, uh, showed the transformation of one of the characters into an animal. And it, it showed, like, the, uh, it was like a seven image thing. It was pretty cool. Alright. Ideal is five. Almost got it. Oh well. Nope. Animorphs. Alright, um, give me a second. Taking just a quick break, I have to send a friend an important email, but I will be back in just a bit.
Uh, apologies, I am back. Ah, uh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your child's jabs for the insecure. Cause that could possibly be you. Uh, God damn it! the controller has turned itself off. There we go. An aged Animorphs book. Animorphs, Johnny's favorite childhood books. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I see La Fromage. I see La Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Just wow. Talk to me, ghosts of people! Nope, ghosts of people don't want to talk to me. Oh wait, there's a old dude, he seems pretty solid. Let's talk to him. Nope. Nobody want nothing from me. Don't want anything to do with me. Do 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 do. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good day idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry. Just follow my steps. Oh, they're dancing? That's super romantic! Also terrifying, because I hate heights, but it's so romantic. Ow, my ass! You stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be the lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and to comfort, to honor and keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Much more clear image of all the people that were standing around during the wedding. Which, you know, stands to reason. 
It's just it's, it's very obvious when the creator chooses what people are solid and easy to see and which people aren't. And it, it does add weight to certain ex events. I like it. Ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. Oh, what? That's really sweet. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I see my eyes? I meant my mouth. My fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Eesh. Whatever happened is just take it moment by moment. Holy crud! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a cynical view of uh, marriage all of a sudden. So Watts is the cynic, uh, is the uh, is the sentimental that hides it by pretending to be a cynic. Is she the cynic that hides it by be pretending to be sentimental? Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. Passed away before I was born. Mom calls me by it as my nickname. That's actually similar to a tradition in my family. In my family, the firstborn son's middle name is the father's first. So, somewhat similar. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ugh. Another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you should talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Nope. Joey. I'm so proud of Joey. Nope. Okay, guess we'll keep looking around. Haven't found the memento yet, or enough memories. So something's got a trigger. The cars! The cars everywhere! You are going to have a bad time getting out. You less so. You were intelligent enough to park in the right spot, then this jerk uh, trapped you in. Man, weddings suck. Just because of the parking situations. What's that on the road? You can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is this a rabbit? I think this is the source- think this is the source of all the folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. How progressive of you, Watts. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you were the- uh, when you do a cordless bungee jump. <laughs> Come on, River. We're late. <laughs> this is the memento, huh? Huh. No, dead rabbit. A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Mm, something dying on your wedding day is bound to stick with you. Let's hope this doesn't look too gruesome. Nope. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began following the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <laughs> uh oh. Young adulthood. Poor thing. What's with all the roadkills today? 
Why don't you look at me like that? It smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. No, oh, can't go that way. Where is he? Gah! Almost got hit by a bus. Oh, wait. That's not a thing. So is it lying down or is it standing up? Whoa. Standing up. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Do don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I will not ride it. Yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil! Oh crap! That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Ha <laughs> ha! Received. No, Dr. Neil Watts. What? I want to see this. Village idiot. <laughs> ah, this is adorable. I love it. Ah, Rosaline. It's not like he could even be hurt. And he could only go so far in the memory before it come, uh, before he has to stop anyway. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. She's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah, ah. River! You have to remember, it's Watts. Fair. What's the matter? Let's go! Hey! Wait up! Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. He'll never get off his high horse. Eva! This is about 19% more than I can handle! What a moron. No, oh, what the corn cob? I can move on the horse. Space to gallop. You... You keep introducing new buttons that don't exist on my controller. It's... Okay, hold on. I guess I'm using a keyboard and mouse. Look at me gallop! Horse butt. Alright, well, let's gallop. I'm faster than you. Watts! Watts. Watts, where are you, Watts? Tell me where you are, Watts. No, stop that. One of the annoying things about using a keyboard is you can't press, like, three things at the same time. Watts, get back here, you asshole. <laughs> I win. Where'd you go? Found you. Here, this one meant hold too. I'm not getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. I already did. It won't even show me the UI for it though. Alright, let's prepare the memento. I can do it in four. That's what you think, game. In some sort of handbag. I switched back to my controller, by the way. I don't want to make too much noise with my keyboard. Mm-hmm. Young adulthood. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached consensus on the results. 
I'm gonna make all doctors sound like this. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, we could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This is one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. <laughs> that voice! Dr. Layton! <laughs> I need to bring Dr. I need to bring Layton back somehow. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other uh, current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there any unsettling in this? Anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? God damn it, controller! Did the thing where it keeps turning off again? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, if it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. They aren't saying specifically what the disorder is, and I don't want to make any assumptions based on my limited knowledge of specific disorders. So I'm going to wait for the game to specifically tell us what the disorder is. They're probably going to, or at least hint at it strongly enough that eventually I'll be able to give uh, a more uh, precise answer as to what I think it might be. But <laughs> I, if, so heads up, I have three associate's degrees. One of them is psychology. That does not by any means make me an expert in psychology. It means that I know enough to get part of a college degree, <laughs> basically. I, I, I'm not the type of person who... Uh, what, let me put it this way. My expertise in psychology tells me that I know enough about psychology to know that I should not diagnose somebody. <laughs> Let's put it that way. The name you just got is an actual real name. I don't see more than that. Equine therapy I know exists. But, I mean, equine therapy can be used for a lot of disorders. A animal therapy in general can be used for a lot of disorders. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. Ah, that's why the clocks in his house tick. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that, can make you, that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. I'm- oh! Atwood, right! Huh. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Note clock ticking. The Atwood thing, right. Is it on my list? Dr. Neil Watts, a pretty cool guy. When did that get changed? Something River can't stand. Animorphs, Sarcophobia. Save. Ah, there's our memory. Our memento, I should say. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Stuffed toy platypus. Can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. He'll change when he got all of the controls again. <laughs> Looks like somebody took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. What's wrong with platypi? Just because they're abominations unto nature. They're amazing. Yo, Doc. What was the name of that book again? Nope, Tony Atwood. Ah, there we go. Tony Atwood, the author of a series of books on uh, Irv's condition. I'm going to write that down so I make sure to look it up later. Because nothing immediately comes to mind, but I have a feeling it should. Alright. For 
down. Let's look for that last memory fragment, shall we? A, a plain tawny handbag. There we go. Alright, so prepare this memento. The clocks! The clocks, they do nothing. Actually, they do everything. Ta da! I can't believe you once paid to see this crab in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Childhood! Well, late childhood. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser! You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? He doesn't seem to remember much at all of that room. Interesting. And thus, the movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. It's not even a full sentence. Let's just look for mementos. You know, maybe if more people were willing to talk to emo teenagers, they'd be less emo. Who'd have thought, right? Oh, you're, you disappeared. Well, it is a movie theater. It was rather dark. Yeah, I know. It, it was interesting. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. I'm doing whatever I want, Watts. I would think you would appreciate that. Look at them gone. Look at them all disappear. Wait, there's one in black over here. Interesting. Getting stood up? Well, that's a Kodak moment. You relate really well with your kin, I see. Mm, can't say I've ever been stood up to a date, but I can't say I've ever been on a date. So, <laughs> guess I have a. I, I guess I should retire with a winning record. You know what? The you know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? Get rid of them all! Eliminate them all! Kill them all! Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out- <laughs> Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there are no olives this time. Aww. River! You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. I can see where the problem could lie, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Yeah, but weird's just another word for interesting. 
Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do! Come, let's sit back in before it ends. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. To the bathrooms! I wonder if he has any memory of the girls' bathroom. Nope. Alright. Hey, it's the platypus! They left a seat for it. I feel like the platypus exists as a game mechanic sense, just so that any time the creator didn't have a memento planned for a scene, they could put the platypus there. <laughs> You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. <laughs> Watts is thinking the same way I am. Which means I'm on a similar wavelength to Watts. God damn it. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Uh It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, Siege, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and everybody will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss! <laughs> or, or says yes, but really means no. Shh, quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet! Dear Lord, I am so not prepared for this. I would honestly recommend helmets if you're going to go ask a girl on a date. Dude! Don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him! Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. What are you- Shh. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. Uh, about platypus? It'd be about platypi. No. Oh. Uh, I think that's great! <laughs> What's with the face bomb? Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Frenzel Lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified with the historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh. Is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? Give him a break about the grammar, he's under a lot of stress. <laughs> no! I'm going to make fun of him even more! I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh. Um, how about this Saturday at 8? I think that means she'll consider it. Well? <laughs> Emma, I think the system for it. Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. No, you just don't understand the awkwardness of teenage relationships, apparently. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, 
I'll just... What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break, he was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Really? You answer to it? Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. Nope, not really. Never mind. Still a horrible abomination. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out? No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you! Go out! Me, you, now! That's just terrible. I know. It would have still been better than what you just did. He's not wrong. <laughs> It would have wouldn't have worked. It shouldn't work, but hey. Dear Lord, I can't believe you asked me to get me to cut me to take this stupid class. Oh come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. I like how his tomato looks like a slime. <laughs> You'll be good if you practice, you know. Not wrong. Yeah right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Liar. We know that's not true. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, it will be very uh, big Da Vinci's. Caveman, go on date! <laughs> Caveman, have fun! Come on, controller, work with me. Requires three bars of memory links to proceed. Oh, we've not run into that before. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone at all? Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, where it was, uh, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alva Perez de Guz Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Hmm. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really. Oh, I think their rote memory is very, often very strong. More psychological terms. Interesting. I hate it when teachers did that. I was the person they would always call on because I always knew the answer. Psst, she's coming this way. Alt tab, alt tab. Receive note, alt tab. <laughs> Lifesaver. <laughs> but singling someone out like that? Well, I mean, if you don't actually. Here's the thing, though. If you don't specifically point at people and say you answer, you're going to have kids who never answer. And that is actually detrimental in, in, from an educational uh, standpoint. They never get the positive feedback of yes, you got the right answer, good job. They uh, they don't they're not able to overcome some of the social anxieties that they might otherwise have. Sometimes you just have to you know bite the bullet and say okay, yes, I know the answer, I can answer it. Or sometimes say no, I don't know the answer, and you have to have the courage to be able to do both. So. It's important for teachers to point at a student who usually doesn't talk, and I'm guessing River's one of those types of students, and say, okay, what is the answer to this? You know, it, it, get it, uh, more, uh, you know, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know what I was trying to go on. Cafeteria, only open during lunch hours. That's a wrap. You chumps better be our... Um... Better next time. An atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> Cute. Limitation of the 
of the RPG maker or whatever system they use to make this and using it as part of the story. Nice touch. Yeah, I still can't do a single push-up. I'm very overweight and out of shape. Fine, oh, you win. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, a piano. I hated gym class. Nobody teased me during it. Actually, everybody was very supportive and the teachers were cool. And sometimes we got to do fun things. I just hated it because <laughs> asthma, overweight, numerous, numerous other issues. Exercise is suffering, after all. In fact, that's sort of the entire point. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? Like I keep saying, weird's just another word for interesting. It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. That would be amazing. I know, isn't that cool? There we go, see? John's got the right idea. Well, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goths? Did that too, actually. And it was fun. Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick, I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. And how the heck would being with her change your own identity? Fair question! I was actually going to bring that up myself. I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. I beg to differ. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. Fair point. Doesn't change the fact that she it seems to be perceived as different anyway, though. If she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? That's also a good point. Look, Nick, the point is not is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. I like this dialogue. It's very cool. It's very cool. That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what Grandma's telling you. Huh. Conversations started off with me on John's side, but quickly shifted to me on Nick's side. Wait, is this guy some kind of human-hugging hugging hipster? That's sort of... Disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait. So this is where he told her about... This is what he told her about at the cliff. Yeah, I made that connection too. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began making those creepy rabbits, right? Has he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. A grudge she never knew she needed to have. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on. I think our passport's leaning up against the table there. Yeah, it's very much a I'm using hers for my own personal gain, or at the very least, I need my life to be interesting, and she seems interesting, so I'm going to use her to make that happen. It's cold and messed up. But I mean... Hmm. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left a big scar in her mind as it did mine. Yeah, she does carry it around all the time. Reasons and intentions aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Is 
It seems they had a friend here that they don't remember very well. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! Not cool, Eva. You never cockblock someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? She's got a- he's got a point. He's got a very good point. And... Oh, I really should take my break. Do I have the cutoff point? I guess this is even posted to YouTube. Even though I took that short break real fast for an email. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a break. So, get up stretch whatever you need to do to be able to keep watching comfortably. And I will be right back.